From a company that has been making helmets from the late 50s, we have a remarkable helmet that not only looks phenomenal, but is chock full of the latest technology. The Bell Race Star Flex DLX. I'm your host, Rainey. You're watching Cycle Gear Guide. Let's quit wasting time. All right, I'll be honest. I've never used a Bell helmet before. That is, not until I saw this beautiful brain bucket and said, I gotta put my head in that. What a masterpiece. Crisp carbon fiber with a few strokes of brilliant red. This offering from Bell is 10% lighter, adds integrated speaker pockets, and was field tested and developed working with pro riders on the track. Let's get to the nitty gritty. At a premium price of over $700, the Raystar Flex has a shell made of 3K carbon fiber, which gives it the look, performance, and feel of a true race-inspired helmet. It also has what Bell calls a race view, purpose-built profile. Simply put, the Raystar lineup has been specifically optimized for a more compact and tuck riding position, as opposed to their street view profile, which is more upright for sport touring positions. Incorporated into the shell are the four intake vents, two at the chin, one at the forehead, and one on top of the head, and one rear exhaust port here, which I felt worked well on the ride. The slide levers are easy to manipulate with or without the gloves, but one small gripe I have is that the vent switches have to be engaged in the opposite direction to work properly. Chin switch is open in the down position while the forehead is up to open and the top of the head switch slides back to open but the exhaust is slid forward to be open. It's nothing major, but I was kind of surprised by it. Okay, let's talk about the amazing ProTint Photochromic Shield. I normally run a mirrored shield and have never experienced the photochromic style, but this thing is crazy good. We rode for a few hours in the sun and I never once felt like I needed anything extra. It was great. The shield also sports Panavision viewports. This helps to increase your field of view vertically and laterally compared to earlier models. And while in a tighter tuck position, it helps with the head checks and lane changes. The closure system is basic, but really solid. You actually get a loud snap at close, and you have to kind of pry the lid open with your thumb to open it. There is a first open position, but no detents, which I was surprised to find, and the supplied shield is not pin lock ready. So you'll need to drop another 80 bucks to get it. And at almost $800 already, uh, I think this should have come equipped with a pin lock ready shield. Just my opinion. But on a high note, this helmet sports the most amazing quick release face shield system that I have seen on any helmet. It is so simple and easy to use. There it is, absolutely amazing. Now, let's head inside and check out one of the most technically advanced liners available today. This is the Virus Cool Jade Power Mesh Liner. Virus is the actual company that created the cool jade fabric that is infused with recycled jade to create a natural cooling effect. The ultra wicking construction combined with the cool jade infused yarn is said to reduce your skin surface temp by 10 degrees. I wasn't able to verify that, but I didn't get overly hot on my ride, even though it was in the mid to upper 80s and in the sun. We have the Magnafusion magnetic cheek pads next, which are antibacterial and much easier to remove and reinstall thanks to the magnetic action. It also has easy to read instructions for EMS responders in the case of an accident. Here we can also see the standard D-ring closure system with magnetic end to secure the strap while riding and a nice little chin curtain. Further inside, we have yet another of Bell's own technologies with their Flex Impact Liner. This liner is specifically designed to manage the energy from a wide range of impacts. It uses three types of unique materials at varying densities to manage low, mid, and high energy impacts. 
At low speeds, the EPO provides a soft and flexible low density polymer, while the EPS and EPP aid in the middle to high speed impacts. So, the MIPS energy management system is not used in the Race Star lineup, but it is used in the next level down, and I just want to make sure that I was clear on that. All right, time for bonus nuggets. Like I mentioned at the start, this generation is 10% lighter than the previous one, weighing only 3.57 pounds. There are six, yes six, shell sizes to promote Bell's ProFit philosophy, which is a smaller profile means a lighter and faster helmet, creating less neck fatigue for the rider. Smaller profile, less noise, better stability. There are also six impact liner sizes to complement the different shell sizes for a near custom fit. Sizing runs from extra small to double XL. I felt like my medium size fit nicely. You can also choose from several color and style options. There was no unboxing video for this helmet, but all that was in the box was the helmet and this cool double zipper bag. There, I just did it. The first Bell Star helmet was introduced in the late 60s and fast forward to over 50 years later and Bell continues to improve an already great helmet with the Race Star that I would easily recommend to anyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, reach out and let me know and tell me what gear you want me to review next. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys again.